Okay, that was fun. The cleaning up the mess, not so much. And for better or worse, I don't have a porch anymore. Okay, so now I gotta build back another porch. And we're gonna see if we can't build something back this, this nice. Okay, now I don't know whether or not we're gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna try and we're gonna get started first thing in the morning. It's amazing at just what can be accomplished with the string. We made progress. The existing brickwork ended up being rougher shaped than I was hoping, but that's okay. We took care of it. And that was a judgment call, whether or not to tear out the existing brickwork and just start over from scratch with that, or to just use what we got and get it in good shape. All right, well, I decided to just keep what we had. And the reason for it, the parts of this that matter that are actually structural and what you can't see from the outside, but on the corners and then midsection here, there's actually brick piers. Okay, those are the structural parts that will actually carry a load, whereas what's in between the piers is just brick underpinning. And that was the not in so, not in very good shape part. Okay, one wall back here, I actually had to put in a steel plate and then add a strap on the backside with the eye bolt running through the wall and plate to an anchor to pull the wall back into place and to stabilize it. Okay, but again, the pier was in great shape. All right, so after we got the wall straightened out, we came back in, um, my dad laid some brick on top to get it up to the right level. And then we added a half inch of mortar on top of that, again, just to get everything for the new to the right level to match up to the existing. All right, well, we're there and everything's nice and square now. And, We've got our rim joists in, and it should go pretty good from here, at least until we get to the roof. Okay, and then that'll get a little tricky, but, and then this is where we're gonna have to wait and see what happens, which you're not gonna have to wait long, but, okay, my dad and guy that's been helping us some, Zach, they're gonna work on some, this some this week. Okay, I was off for the 4th of July working on this, now I gotta go back to work, so I'm not gonna be here to film. Okay, when we come back, we'll see what they've got done, and then we'll pick back up on this this coming weekend. They should have the floor joists in place. That's gonna be pretty easy. Just lay those out and get them put in and get the subflooring in, and we've already got the material, and then get up the walls. So I'm guessing we're gonna be starting on the roof this coming weekend. All right, and anyway, we're just gonna have to wait and see where that's at, and then. Wherever it's at, we'll pick up from there and then get back to work. Well, we've got a porch now, or at least we've got the deck for one. My dad made some progress this week while I was working. He got the floor joists in and the, the decking on here. Now we've got to build some walls. Before we get into building these walls, I did want to take a minute to talk about how I'm filming this and some changes I just decided to make. Okay, my plan was originally film, you know, us going through the process and we're building it. And then at the end, hey, doesn't this finished porch look good? Okay, and however long it takes, however long it takes, and then I put it together. Okay, but I thought, hey, it's gonna be more useful if I just get more into detail and show the problems we're running into. Okay, and any time we do anything, we're gonna run into issues, especially we're adding onto an old house. Okay, building from new, well, that makes things a lot simpler, but when you get to tying in and working with something that's already existing that 
it wasn't necessarily built like things are now, what I can create challenges. Okay, and then, hey, even just normal building, we're gonna run into challenges. So I thought it might be more interesting and more realistic to go through and show, okay, this is what we got done today. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is just every weekend film what I get done that weekend or what I accomplish that week. And some of this stuff, I'm not even gonna be here to film it. I'm gonna be at work like my dad, putting in floor joists and the decking, which all of that was pretty straightforward. He did that this week while I was working. Sometimes during the week I get by here in the evening and I do get stuff done. Okay, and then there's a lot of planning that goes into all of this too, which I'll get more into that as we go. All right, and then it'll start to make sense. All right, so I'm gonna cover what we accomplished today. And keep in mind with building, all right, carpentry, well, anything we do, it really is one step at a time. Okay, this is one board at a time. All right, so if I get over here and we want to get it all done like that. All right, but that's not how it goes. It's, it's literally, okay, what board am I gonna cut and put in place now? And then, okay, what's the next board? Now we hit on things that are very similar like floor joists, they're all the same length and we cut them all the same length and once we put one in, we get our marks and we can run with it and then, okay, look, they're all done. Not a lot of thinking there and that's when we accomplish a lot quick. All right, but it still starts with, where's that one board going? Okay, and then cutting that one board, what's the length it needs to be? I wanna get that one board done, now I wanna do the second board. All right, so I'm gonna film us doing the walls. Hopefully, we'll get the walls up today. I mean, it's four simple walls. We should be able to get this. And then I'll just go ahead and post everything I've got now. This is where we're at. And then next weekend, okay, this is what we accomplished since then. Okay, this is our first little issue we're running into. Notice I didn't say problem. There are no problems, just only challenges to be overcome. That sounded good, didn't it? Okay, I was planning on tying into this four by four post here with our wall coming in. I thought that's what they had done with the existing porch, but the existing porch wall was actually offset to one side. So we'll have to offset this to just a little bit, a couple of inches. I'll scab on a two by four on the end, that's fine. We'll have something to nail to. And, but the really, the one that's really got me scratching my head, all right, we're, we're gonna put a roof on the porch here. We're gonna, it's gonna be enclosed. Okay, I want my rafters on the porch to line up with the rafters in the house. That way, our rafters for the porch are gonna be just like a lean-to. So they're gonna be sitting on top of these rafters and I want them in line. That's gonna be tough because what they did with these rafters, okay, we've got a floor joist here, excuse me, ceiling joist here. Got a rafter here, all right? And then they nailed them together where they meet at the end, that's standard. The thing is, all of the rafters aren't on the same side of the ceiling joists. They just put it on whatever side. Okay, well that makes it difficult to lay everything out exactly 16 inches on center. Plus, I'm wanting to have a little knee wall right here to support the, the rafters we're gonna add, which you'll see when we put that in, what I'm talking about. But anyway, that just, that makes it difficult and I got a decision to make here. Okay, I can offset my rafters. And the reason all this matters now is, okay, I haven't laid out the walls yet. We're gonna lay out the wall in just a minute. I want my studs in line with my rafters. Okay, so each rafter is gonna sit over top of a stud. Each rafter is gonna sit over top of an existing rafter and then my knee wall, I have a brace for each rafter coming off this wall, so it's actually this wall here is gonna carry most of the load for the rafter. Anyway, I just gotta figure out, you know, are we just gonna keep it standard on what we're tying in here? And if it's offset, it's offset, whatever. Or am I gonna adjust for what's here to keep all the rafters in line? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out as we go.
Okay, we got up two walls. Should have been three. But hey, we got two up, which we had some drama today. Uh, my help quit. I went to go get some lunch, and when I got back, he was gone. Him and my daddy had, had a falling out. Anyway, he might be back, and that'd be okay, and he might not be back. Now, hey, that'd be okay, too. Um, after he left, when we finally started getting some work done. You know, I wish the fella all the best. Um, and this is why I decided to change how I was going to film this. All right, just this is what I get done each week. I could wait until it's all together and then edit it all together and take the, the prettiest, best looking shots and make a nice little montage and make it look like, you know, the porch took all of 10 minutes. But I just didn't know how it is. Um, we run into stuff. And, hey, there's days we go in there and we knock out a bunch and it just, the work flows, and then there's days where there's drama, and it don't. All right, so anyway, this is what I, where are we at right now? At the end, this is Saturday afternoon, and as a matter of fact, I, I just heard Trump got shot at his rally. Um, I don't know any details other than that right now. I don't even know if it's true right now. Um, friend just called me a minute ago. All right, and I know I talked a lot about the political stuff, and... You know, I said I, I try and stay away from that, but like I said in the last video, it, it is important that we understand what's going on. Okay, things can fall apart quick, and which the whole country is it's pretty close to falling apart now. Just starting with we're 34 trillion in debt. I mean, we don't even need anything else. Just that right there. All right, anyway, as far as this though. I want to get this done before the economy falls and before the uh, price on houses tank because um, I'm still living in, in my current house and moving in here when I'm done. I want to get out as quick as I can and I want to get my other house sold as quick as I can before the value plummets, housing market crashes and, you know, things are, get really tough. All right, so anyway. Making progress, and then, hey, it's gonna be one board at a time until it's done. All right, so I gotta go back to work now. Um, I don't work on Sundays. Okay, I, I go to church Sunday morning. Um, if I got something I really need to do, I will do it. But I do try to take Sunday off. It, it is a day of rest, and we need a day of rest. All right. Keep this in mind too, if, if we ever get in a situation where we feel like we have to work on Sunday, it's real easy to get into feeling like we gotta work on Sunday every Sunday. All right, we gotta make sure we don't put ourselves in situations where we do. And you know, the house, I got a bunch going on here and I, I said early on this was gonna be a marathon and not a sprint. Having that one day of rest a week, well that's what keeps you in the race what keeps you from getting burned out. Right, anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. So I might get some stuff done during the week on this. I'll film it as I go. And that's why I didn't get any footage today also, by the way. I was planning on being able to, you know, take some time out to do a little filming while we're getting some stuff done. But all right, my help is gone. So. <laughs> um, me and my dad knocked this out and I couldn't be filming then. I had to get to work. <laughs> Anyway, I'll try, if I get some stuff done this week, I'll film it, and then we're just going to pick right back up next weekend. We're going to keep at this. I'm going to post the update every week until we get to the end, whenever that may be. God bless, and have a great day.